Hello friends, welcome back to Circle Time. Did you enjoy your brain break? Excellent. Well, now it's time for our daily message. Our daily message tells us what we're learning about. Today, we are starting a new unit. Let's read our message to see what we're learning about today. Ready? A community is a place where people live, work, and play. Okay, let's read it again. This time, you read with me. I'll read and you can repeat. Ready? A community is a place where people live, work, and play. Great work, friend. You just read today's message. Before we talk about our message, we are going to be letter detectives. We are going to look for our letter of the week. Can you help me? Perfect. First, let's take a look at our letter of the week. This week, we are learning the letter E. Can you say E? Excellent. The letter E makes the E eh sound. Can you say that with me? The letter E makes the E eh sound. Perfect. Let's put our E on the board so we remember what it looks like. We have our uppercase E and our lowercase E. Okay, now we need to put on our detective goggles. Excellent. Let's see if we can find the E's in today's message. Ready? Can you find the letter E? There are a few of them. How many can you find? Did you find an E in our message? Awesome. Okay, now we're going to follow along the message and see if we can find all of the E's together. We'll start at the top on the left and we'll move to the right, just like we read. Ready? Say stop when you see me pointing to an E. We're looking for the letter E. The letter E makes the eh sound. Hmm. No E's on this line. Let's go down one line and back to the left. We're looking for an E. Remember, say stop when I point to one. Did you say stop? Great work. This is the letter E. Is this an uppercase E or a lowercase E? It's a lowercase E. Let's see if we can find more E's. Remember, say stop when I point to one. Did you say stop? Here is another E. Let's underline it. It's another lowercase E. Let's keep going. Did you say stop? If you did, you are correct. There's another E. Let's underline this E. Wow, there were two E's in this word. Let's see if we can find more E's in our message. Remember, say stop when I'm pointing to one. Did you say stop? Good work. Here's another E. Let's keep going. I'm looking for an E. And another E. This word has two E's too. This is the word people. The word people has one, two, two E's. Let's go down one line and back to the left and see if we can find more E's. Remember, say stop when I'm pointing to an E. Did you say stop? If you did, excellent job. I see another E. This E is in the word live. Let's see if we have any more E's in our message. Looking for the letter E. Here's our period. That means our sentence is over and there's no more words, so our message is over. Wow, we found a lot of E's today. Let's see how many E's were in today's message. Count with me. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. We found six E's in today's message. Did you find all six? If you did, fantastic work. And if you didn't find all six E's, it's okay. As long as you tried your best. Okay, before we read our message and talk about it, we need to do one more thing. In the first part of our circle time, we learned a new sight word. We learned the word is. We spell is I S. Well, our sight word is in today's message. So now we're going to be word detectives. We are going to look for the word is in our message. Can you help me? Perfect. Put on your word detective goggles. Good. Okay, let's see if you can find the word is in our message. Were you able to find the word is in our message today? Excellent. Okay, let's see if we can find it together. We'll start at the top on the left. We're looking for the word is. We'll see the letters I S. Looking for the word is. Here it is. This is our sight word. It's the word is. I S spells is. Okay, friends, now it's time to read our message one more time and then we'll talk about it. Ready? A community is a place where people live, work, and play. Today and this week and next week, we are going to be talking about communities. Our message says that a community is a place where people live, work, and play. And that's one of our words today, community. A community can be really big. Big communities are usually called cities. Some people live in big cities. They'll see really tall buildings. There are lots of neighborhoods and many shops and stores and places to go. Here is a picture of a community. I see a recreation center. That's where kids can go to play. A school. I see homes. Tall buildings, a hospital, a business, a city hall. There are lots of places in this community. Some communities aren't very big. People call them towns. That just means there's not as many people who live there. But there are still people who live there, who work there, and who play there. Communities come in many different sizes. Let's add the word community to our word wall. Another word we're going to talk about today is neighborhood. A neighborhood is the place where you live inside of a city. There can be many different neighborhoods in one big city. Some neighborhoods might look like there are a bunch of apartment complexes. That could be a neighborhood. Some neighborhoods have lots of houses in them. And some neighborhoods might only have a few houses. The neighborhood might only be one road. Just like communities, neighborhoods can be really big or really small. So we just learned that a neighborhood is a small area inside of the big community. Let's add the word neighborhood to our word wall. Perfect. Okay, so now that we know what a community and a neighborhood is, let's read a book to help us learn a little more about the people and places that we can find in a community or a neighborhood. The title of our book today is Helpers in Your Neighborhood. Our book is going to teach us about helpers that we can find in a neighborhood. This is a non-fiction book. That means everything we'll read inside the book is real. It's going to teach us facts about helpers in a neighborhood. 
Some stories are fiction. That means they're fake. They're not real. You might read a story where animals are talking. Animals can't really talk. So we call those stories fiction stories. A nonfiction story is a true story. Everything you read inside is true facts, things that are real in our world. Let's read today's book to learn a little more about helpers in your neighborhood. Helpers in your neighborhood. Hey, this is a title page. The title page is a page inside the book that tells us the title again. And it also tells us who the author is. The author is Shira Evans. Shira Evans is the person who wrote all the words we're going to read today. Here is another special page in our book. It's a page that shows us a vocabulary tree. Since this is a nonfiction book, we are going to learn words and what they mean. And here is a list of the people and places we're going to talk about today. It's kind of like our word wall that we use for our daily message time. Okay, let's start reading. We live in different places. Here are different children and they live in different places all around the world. That means all of their neighborhoods and communities will look a little different. Let's see what they look like. Many people work in our neighborhoods. They help us every day. What people do you see on these pages that help in the neighborhood? I see a police officer. And here is a traffic guard. She's helping stop the traffic so children can cross the street and get into the school bus. Let's meet one of our first friends. Hi, I'm Hoshi. I live in Japan. In my neighborhood, the mail carrier brings letters. He takes new letters to the post office. So in Hoshi's community, he sees a mail carrier. A mail carrier works at a post office. They bring mail to and from the post office. Do you have a mail carrier in your neighborhood? I have a mail carrier in my neighborhood. So even though Hoshi lives way in Japan, he has a mail carrier just like me and you. Let's see what else. Hi, I'm Muni. I live in India. I go to the library in my neighborhood. The librarian helps me find new books. He goes to the library and the librarian there helps him find new books. Do you have a library or a librarian in your neighborhood? Or maybe in your community? Many of us have libraries in schools and there's public libraries in cities. The public library has lots of books to choose from when you want to read something. Hi, I'm Mato. I live in Chile. I'm my, in my neighborhood, police officers keep us safe. At the police station, they talk to people who need help. In his neighborhood, he sees police officers. The police officers work at a police station. Do you see police officers in your neighborhood or your community? I have police officers in my neighborhood and community too. Let's meet another friend. Hi, I'm Ava. I live in, in, in Angola. In my neighborhood, firefighters put out fires. At the fire station, they get the trucks ready for next time. In her community, she has firefighters. Are there firefighters in your community too? There are firefighters in every community. They're one of the helpers that keep the community or the neighborhood safe. Hi, I'm Emma. I live in the United States of America. There is a restaurant in my neighborhood. The waiter brings us food. 
Pizza is my favorite. Emma lives in the United States of America. Now that's where I live, and you probably live there too. In Emma's neighborhood, she has a restaurant, and there's a waiter who works there. The waiter helps by bringing her the food that she orders. Hi, I'm Lucas. I live in Brazil. At my school, the teacher knows a lot. She helps us read and write. Lucas has a teacher and a school in his neighborhood or community. Do you have a teacher or a school in your neighborhood? Excellent. Well, in Lucas's school, he learns to read and write. Do you learn to read and write where you have school? Maybe you go to a school building like Lucas? Or maybe you learn at home. Do you learn how to read and write? Excellent. Oh, we learn how to read and write and miss April circle time. So if you've been joining me for circle time, you've been learning how to read and write just like Lucas, even though Lucas lives far away from where you are. Hi, I'm Kate. I live in the United Kingdom. We go to the hospital when we're sick. Doctors and nurses help us get better. Do you have a hospital in your community? There are doctors that work at the hospital. And just like in Emma's community, the doctors help make them better. People work hard in our neighborhoods. They help us stay safe and happy. Here is a veterinarian. She is an animal doctor. She helps keep, keep the animals in our community healthy and safe. Here is a barber. A barber is a person who cuts hair. They're a community helper as well. Oh, here is an activity that you can try at home with your parents. You can draw your neighborhood or your community. You can draw pictures of the different places that are in your community. This person drew their community. I see a train station, a church, a park, a neighborhood, an apartment building. Here is a bus, a taxi, and many other businesses like a factory and a school. Let's see what community helpers work in this person's neighborhood. There's a park, park ranger. They work at the park to make sure everyone stays safe. Here's a bus driver. The bus driver drives the kids to school. A recycling center worker. They work in a factory where they recycle different materials. A mechanic. A mechanic helps fix different types of machinery. And a taxi driver. A taxi driver brings people where they need to go if they don't have their own cars to get there. There are many different people that work in our communities. They are called community helpers. And you have many community helpers where you live, just like the friends that we met in the book. Did you enjoy today's story? Excellent. This week and next week, we are going to take a closer look at all of the helpers that live in our neighborhoods and communities. So make sure you join me again tomorrow for Circle Time. We're going to learn more about our community helpers. I'll see you then. Bye. Hi everyone. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you would like to see more videos just like this one from Miss April's Classroom, make sure you click subscribe.